Greetings everyone, it's your guy, the Urban Window Farmer. In this episode, we're going to be creating the 3D printed pot that you see on the left, and we're going to be replanting the snake plant that you see on the right. So let's get to it. So first step is to go over to Thingiverse and download the, the files that we're going to be using for this project. Uh, so I'm just going to search for a planter with a tray. And for this, we're going to be using the wide top low poly planter with tray. Um, this has been put together by um, a creator called Kanata. So yeah, have a look at it. Um, I think this is currently um, intended for for cactus plants, but we're going to take this and we're going to change the dimensions a little bit to so that it can fit our project as well. So it looks nice, has holes at the bottom. I like this design, the low poly design. And uh, this is the tray that snaps onto the bottom. Well designed. I'll leave links to this um, at, the, at the bottom of the video if you guys are interested in downloading this these project files. So yeah, so next step is to you know click to download all and it'll expose the, the two files. So the main STL file and the tray STL file. So download those both to your computer. So yeah, once the files are downloaded, go ahead and drag and drop um, the first file, the tray file, into your slicer of choice. I'm using Ultimaker, Ultimaker Cura. So uh, first step is to change the dimensions. This right now is too small. So I'm gonna leave on uniform scaling and I'm going to uh, change the dimensions um, to 200. So it would be 200 by 200 by 200. And that fills up the entire build plate, which I'm looking to do. And then I'll turn off uniform scaling, and then I want to increase the z-axis so that um, um, it'll be taller, it'll hold more water when I'm watering it. Um, so changing that to 400. And that looks good. So zoom in there and have a look so go ahead and slice it it'll take a second and then you see there it'll take, take around 14 hours at the current print settings to print this so go ahead and save it off to wherever um, I'm going to save it to my removable drive and then um, I can get started on the next file So now I'll get to work on the main STL file. So this I also want to scale it up, so I will um, turn uniform scaling back on. I like how that looks, but I want to make it a bit taller as well. So that the roots have uh, more space to grow. Yeah, so that's setting 200 by 200 by 400. That looks pretty good and it takes up the entire build. Uh, space for the 3D printer. So I will go ahead and slice that. Yeah, all the holes look good, everything looks good. So, so that'll take about one day and 10 hours to print. So let me get these things printed and I'll come back once everything is all done. Three days later. So here's how the print came out. Came out pretty good. Um, I used um, marble PLA from Micro Center. It was about 20 bucks for the box. I think it came out pretty good. I did have a little bit of warping at the bottom, but it's uh, good enough. 
So have a look at the two print files. It took about three days to print both files. So the next step is to um, go ahead and waterproof these 3D prints. I'm actually just going to waterproof the tray. There are many techniques to waterproof PLA, but I'm going to be using wax. So I have this um, infuser that melts the wax. So I have like a, a tray full of wax that's melted and I'm just using a paintbrush to, um, to paint the wax on the 3D prints um, in the inside portion of it. So when, when water does flow down into it, um, I, don't, I won't have to worry about any, any water on my windowsill. So I'm just going to go ahead and paint and make sure that I don't miss any spots. And we should be golden. I'll probably just put um, two layers of, of wax um, on the tray. So paint one layer on, wait a little while, and then um, paint a second layer. And then should be good to go. I'll just remove the excess wax and that then should be good to go. Alright, so I'm done waterproofing. Have a look at it. You can hardly see the wax. Um, I am going to remove some of the excess wax. This portion of the tray won't be visible once I connect the pot to the tray. Alright, next step I'll connect the two pieces together, the, the body and the tray. So next I'll do some quick cleanup, just remove some of this excess wax around the, the edge of the tray. Alright, now I'm going to move the plant from the old pot to the new pot. Actually let me get a tarp so I don't so my neighbors below don't don't get angry. So I'll go ahead and add soil to the new planter so that the snake plant has room to grow. Um, so I added a, about six inches of soil at the bottom and then put more soil around the plant. And then the last step, I'm just going to support the plant with this 3D printed plant support. So I'm just going to cut off the excess plastic on these zip ties and it's all done. Have a look. 3D printed pot with marble PLA from Micro Center and 3D printed plant support. So this is all done. I'm just going to move the plant back into the bedroom, give it a water, and I'm all done.